Oh yeah, one more thing before we move on. If you go to left or right from the lair, you will end up in... The ghost channel. But there's not really anything to... Locate right now. Um, to find here. Hmm. Is there anything here? No, except the wall to blow up. Well, we'll be back here eventually with actually something to do. Run. She's a little run away. Or he, in this case. Um, so... This time we'll go actually continue with the plot. City Docks. And that first choice of the game had actually very little effect. See, if we had gone right at the start, the lower door here would be open instead of this upper path here. But the later choices will have more of a consequence. And those boxes will do that. Blow up in a rain of flames. And... Oh. That they will blow up in a rain of flames that will hurt anything that get, gets hit by them. Yeah, and those biots don't seem to be that smart given how they just run off edges of platforms. Now you can see that the middle section of this uh, ceiling here is different with that small lower part, which means it can be broken. And we find another energy extinction. Uh, extension, sorry. <laughs> and there's another breakable. Now is this one? Yeah. the music in this version. The main reason well, the main reason I picked the Super Nintendo version is just for the uh, slightly better controls. And there was a spirit extension. Now um speaking of controls actually you can aim while standing still by holding the uh, R button, but apparently that just for some reason didn't work in the very first screen of the game. No idea why really, but... Hmm. Oh, yeah. oh. This thing is fun, there are a few of these big robots in the game. Climb in and you'll be... For starters, you'll be invulnerable unless the attack comes from above. Pressing uh, an item attack, attack button will cause the robot to punch, which will take out pretty much anything in one hit. However, those things are always short-lived since you will all encounter some wall which you will have to get out and you will have to get out of the robot to get the past it. The destructible thing up here. And now we go down for a change. Yeah, you can just see how much secret stuff there is to find in this game. Um, no real reason to go back up here, that will just be the long way. where the two pads join up again. And 
by the way, if you happen to um, uh, destroy the wall where one of those wall crawling robots happen to be on, it'll be destroyed instantly. Up here we have Grant. Stop sniveling, Sean. The warehouse will explode before the police investigate. The countdown sequence has begun. There is one who knows of my connection. Archer, he's scheduled for termination. Bring back the Black Panther tracker, or die like a dog. Power down, Tin Man. It was too easy to pass up. I chat, but I'm meeting with a wealthy collector. Crikey. Mars, do what you must, but Maximum Incorporated needs the Panther alive. I've heard enough, Kraft. Phantom, those are the last words you'll ever hear. And then grants runs off to come back in a big honking robot. Now the best way I've found to fight this thing is to hang from the wall there so just just as high as you can without actually climbing onto the wall. Oh yeah, and it's also good to dodge the big claw when it comes that close. Now just keep shooting at it. And those high shots will pass all above you. When it goes back, it will start to a few of those grenades. So first you have to destro destroy the claw and then the feet of legs. Okay, now it will blow up, you will get an energy refill. And go go. Go into grenade spam spamming mode. Those things hurt quite a bit. As ma with many bosses, it's all about the pattern. Okay, good. I didn't have to use some um, first aid kit. And with most bosses, you will get a new weapon, and the game level will actually end when you pick up the weapon. Where's Archer, and why does Maximum Incorporated want him dead? I don't know. And what about that fan panther? Don't worry, it'll soon become extinct, and so will you. Notice that Grant doesn't hold his own safety in a very high regard. This will come back. The doctor is in, and forces any hints at to who blew the university lab and warehouse to nanobits. The Phantom was seen fleeing both these crimes. We are back here at the entrance to the factory, and if we go, go back here, appropriately, the place is in ruins. So, next time we'll head to the other direction.